The upper medium segment tends to split between premium brands and more mainstream car makers. The new 8th generation Volkswagen Passat aims to bridge that divide with premium quality but the practicality and pricing of a more mainstream car. Volkswagen has sent the new Passat out to work in a sharper suit of clothes, and if anything, the estate looks better than the saloon. The new model is instantly recognisable as a Passat, but the more defined lines make the car look lower and leaner than before. And it is leaner. Volkswagen has shaved around 85 kilograms from the weight of the Passat. It's one of several measures aimed at improving fuel efficiency and reducing emissions. The most efficient engine and gearbox combination, for now, is the 1.6 TDI with the DSG transmission. This achieves 70.6 mpg on the combined cycle and emits just 104 grams of kilometre of CO2. That puts the car in the 16% band of benefiting kind taxation, jumping to 18% in April 2015. Those are impressive numbers but not class leading. The new Mondeo, for example, already has a sub 100 gram a kilometre model. For rock bottom emissions from the Passat, you'll have to wait for the Blue Motion version, due out in June. Volkswagen hasn't confirmed economy or emissions, but has said that it's aiming for 78 mpg. The most popular engine in the range is expected to be this one, the 2 litre TDI with 150 horsepower. It's the sweet spot in the range if you want to combine strong performance with low emissions. However, if you go for a car with a DSG transmission, like this one, then fuel efficiency does suffer a bit. It returns 62.8 mpg on the combined cycle and emits 119 grams a kilometre of CO2. A manual car makes more sense in terms of tax and fuel costs, but the DSG box suits the car's relaxed but efficient character, changing gear smoothly. Find a twisting road and the Passat handles well, and the optional dynamic chassis control 700 pounds, allows the driver to fine-tune the car for sporty cornering or a more supple ride. At speed, the car is quiet and comfortable with very little noise entering the cabin. That's just what you want from a car that's designed to travel long distances on the motorway. The cabin is where the Passat really scores over its rivals. Compared to most mainstream cars, the standard of finish is noticeably higher but compared with prestige cars like the BMW 3 Series and Mercedes-Benz C-Class, there's a lot more room. That goes for passengers and their luggage. Boot space is class-leading, seats up or down. It's easy to lower the seats using levers either side of the tailgate, a feature which the new Mondeo estate lacks. It all adds up to a strong all-round package, but if the Passat does have a weakness, it's price. With P11D values pegged above those of rivals from Ford, Hyundai and Vauxhall, the VW's cost per mile figures don't lead the class. However, there's very little in it and some things are worth paying more for.